What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. I will share three different methods that you can use to capture the screenshot on this device that you can use based on your preference. So here we go. So the method number one to take a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is using the physical button. So the fingerprint sensor or the power key and the volume down button. So for example, if I want to take a screenshot of this screen or here on this cover screen then all you have to do press the power key and volume down key together press and hold like this and you can see a screenshot is captured tap on allow if you go to the gallery now here you can see this is the screenshot that we have just captured it's an image and if you go to the details here you can see that the resolution is same as the resolution of this screen here so you can see it's 840 cross 2289 if you want to take the screenshot of the primary screen the method is same power key and the volume down key together press and hold and the screenshot is captured and now if you go to the gallery and have a look on the screenshot that we have just captured you can see this is different in aspect ratio it's a bit wider compared to what we got here and once again if you go to the details here you can see the screen resolution is changed now so this is just an image if you want you can make whatever changes just like a regular image you can crop it you can put some filters you can do customizations because it's nothing but an image so this is the method number one to capture the screenshot Method number two is palm swipe to capture that you will have to activate from the settings. So first of all, go to the settings, then go to advanced features, then go to motion and gesture. And here at the bottom, you will find the option called palm swipe to capture. Turn it on if it is turned off. Now what you have to do, you need to keep your hand, the palm at one edge of the screen and swipe in the opposite direction like this. And you can see that the screenshot is captured so now if I go to the gallery this is the screenshot that we have just captured using the palm swipe to gesture once again it works here on this smaller cover screen as well just keep your hand on one side and swipe on another one like this and once again the screenshot is captured this is the one so these are Two methods using which you can capture the screenshot now let's talk about the third one so let's assume like you are on some website and you want to capture a screenshot of multiple pages at the same time so you can see that using the first two methods the screenshot is captured only of this part that is visible but what if you want to keep going down and capture more for example if you go to the settings here you can see this is like we got multiple pages and if you want to capture a screenshot of all of these instead of using just this part then first of all you will have to capture a screenshot using any of the first two methods either using the physical keys or palm swipe to capture after that what you have to do once you take a screenshot you will see that a toolbar is coming at the bottom and one of the options the first one is for capturing the scrolling screenshot so let's do it one more time And now if I tap on it, you can see that the screen is scrolling down and the screenshot is being captured. You can see the demo on the side. This is the end of it. And this is the screenshot that we have just captured. You can see this is whole image from up to down on the settings. You can do this on any screen like when you are browsing a website or something to capture a scrolling screenshot on your device. So this is the method number three to capture a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.